Hi, my name is Roy Picard and I'm the founder of Oil Sand Strong and one of the co-founders of I Love Oil Sands Movement. In 2014, I was walking my dogs down by the airport and I happened to notice a multi-million dollar jet land. This turned out to be Leonardo DiCaprio's jet. He came to Fort McMurray in a multi-million dollar jet to put up his nose and criticize Canada's energy industry. His blatant hypocrisy motivated me to take action. My first mini protest was at Tim Hortons where I put stickers on the coffee cups of the cars coming out of the drive-thru to protest their unfair treatment of Enbridge when they canceled their ads in the store. After that, I hosted events in Fort McMurray to raise the awareness of the need to be more proactive in regards to defending Canada's energy industry. Our movement became national before long people were cheering the praises of Canada's energy from coast to coast. They realized that this unfair attack from so-called environmentalists was based on half-truths and lies. Average Canadians, politicians, Canadian celebrities, business people from all around this country joined forces to defend our resource sector. I left Canada Action to start Oil Sand Strong and I upped my game on bold advocacy. I stood up to celebrities like Jane Fonda, Jan Arden, Leonardo DiCaprio, Neil Young, and David Suzuki. I did tons and tons of media and I was on the cover of Alberta Oil Magazine. I was part of a movement that organized rallies from coast to coast, from Vancouver to Halifax and every city that we were in, we gained tons of media attention. I also believe that we really moved the needle towards the acceptance of the importance of building pipelines and celebrating Canada's energy. While we didn't win the war, we definitely won a few battles, including advocating for the Trans Mountain Pipeline, Line 3, just to name a couple. I also was asked to open the War Room, at the time it was called the War Room, the Canadian Energy Centre, to send a bold message that we were going to be fighting back. We seemed to be on a road to success until we made a critical error of organizing a competing convoy with an existing convoy that was headed to Ottawa. While both groups were doing advocacy, we clashed. And at this point, we had to cancel the convoy. And I believe this deflated the movement and our so-called environmentalist opponents started to make serious games. So what are we doing now? Oil Sand Strong has regrouped and we've decided that we will take the lead in a new campaign across this country. We're going to be filming a documentary in every small town and big city along the way to tell the story about Canada's energy and how it affects Canadians. We're taking our propane slash gas powers 1977 bus from Fort McMurray to Ottawa. Along the road, we're going to stop in all kinds of towns, giving out buttons and stickers and selling t-shirts. And we're going to be interviewing the residents about the importance of Canada's oil and gas sector. We also will address this nonsense that there's some sort of just transition when we are supposed to stop using fossil fuels and destroy Canada's economy. It's important that we draw attention to our thriving Indigenous communities that have just worked out amazing multi-billion dollar deals with energy companies, building pipelines and building tank farms to develop our resources for generations to come. I have personally funded Oil Sand Strong myself for over five years and I'm very proud of the reach that we have on our social media and our websites and all of the media that we have received. We have received a ton, but I'm not capable of doing it all by myself. So I'm asking today for help. We want to make a difference. We want to be bold. We want to move the needle. We want to step up, but we can't do it alone. Thank you.